Hello, hello, I'm Kads, and welcome to today's video. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my fellow Americans who do celebrate, and I will most certainly be thankful for the amazing souls we're gonna get, because yes, we are pulling some soul stones for the super boosted rates here. I was on the fence about whether or not to go for it, and I'll talk about what kind of convinced me, but I did ask you guys in one of my previous videos, or one of my recent videos, what you guys would think, and some of you commented that I should probably go for it as well, so shout out to you guys but one of the things that was kind of uh pushing me towards it was one just you know there is a there is an accompanying event originally we thought there wasn't going to be something overlapping with it but the soulstone rush is pretty nice i still would have preferred if there was like a mythical tome up for grabs here but nonetheless our goal here is going to be to get all the way out here to 3020 so the second legendary tome but along the way that does also mean we get a primal shard we get a void shard we get some gems we get some energy we get an ancient shard so pretty good rewards along the way as well and then if we hop over to the altar of souls itself the one thing i forgot about because i was doing the math and i'd basically have to pull everything here in order to get 3,000 points but i forgot to account for the fact that we have some soul coins so if we do some fancy dandy math basically i need to pull two mortals to get 20 points 15 immortals so i still have one to spare plus you know 18 or 19 ish here and then lastly i'd have to pull three eternal soul stones so let's go ahead and buy ourselves the two eternals that we're going to be pulling today on top of everything else and essentially what this allows me to do is i can save all of my mortals for the next soul chase event or semi boosted whatever they're going to do in the future um, and so i won't have to dip into my morals because they are good in terms of of pulling for these rates but boosted rates for mortals have always been there whenever they've done these two x's but the rates for the higher ones are relatively exclusive to this event this is the first iteration of having boosted rates on eternals at all and then this is probably like the second or third time we've had a full boost on the immortals so it's just a good opportunity when everything is considered and like i said i basically get to save my morals for next time and we can just focus on the immortals and the eternals so in this case i am hoping that we get super duper lucky and start hitting some champions on the wish list so i did make a quick swap i put whisper back in on the epic list because hopefully we can get her to five or six stars she's currently sitting at four star on my account but other than that everyone else is the same so let's get right into it we're going to kick things off with the two <laughs> mortal soul stones this is just again for the sake of the math to make it add up such that we get the 3020 points in the soul rush so we can get these out of the way not expecting anything crazy from these two but uh, yeah, let's move on to the big juicy ones. Now I could do these, I could do a 10 pop, but I'm gonna do these as singles, not because I just wanna keep you guys here longer for an arbitrary amount of time, but really in case I happen to hit something from the wish list, I wanna be able to make a swap really quickly. And right out of the gate, proof is in the pudding. There you go, six star perfect soul for Inquisitor Shemail. So that's just straight off the wish list. Honestly, let's just, let's just do that right now. He jumps all the way up from three star to six six star that is substantial so that's exactly what i was talking about we're starting it off perfectly that's awesome love to see it but yeah in case anything like that happened i wanted to be able to be able to make a swap on my epic list just so that i don't have to uh, get or risk the chance good gosh of getting duplicates so that's fine we already know who the next one is going to be it's going to be genbo the dishonored so we'll just make that quick swap and let's get right back into it so first eternal that is a great start the boosted rates are on and honestly this kind of makes up for a little bit for the last session that we had which was very lackluster i must say in hindsight but uh yeah we're gonna pull all the way down i guess it's behind my head so you guys can't see it but we're gonna pull all the way down until we have one immortal soul stone left so three star lady eresh not really that exciting mythical champion okay five star calamitous that is absolutely fantastic except that i don't have the champion and man this is the kind of stuff that you would really want to hit in the soul stone chase where the uh, quality of what you get actually matters but in here it's just kind of you get fixed amount of points five star for stagnite okay i'll take that that is definitely an upgrade for stagnite i think he's sitting at three star right now so that should improve um the quality of his blessing for uh, his cruelty blessing Four star on the cold heart. Okay, at least we hit the wish list. That is an upgrade. My cold hearts have been sitting at uh, three stars for a very, very long time, so I'll take it. Legendary. Okay. 
Gaiath, the Truth Shield, I believe is her name. Don't have her, but nonetheless, nice forced her soul for her. Nine more immortals to go. Let's keep it going. Can we hit more good RNG? Another mythical. Is it our Galathir? It is not. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, since you can't put mythicals on the wish list, but uh, still in the market for a Galathir soul. And in the, I guess in this case, the bare minimum we could get is three star. But yeah, four star Mesomel. That's nice. Don't have her either, unfortunately. But if I ever do get her, that's actually where exactly where you want to be for a nuker. That's the uh, crit damage and the HP on top of the attack and other stuff. Three star Sanctum Protector. Definitely not what we're looking for. Unfortunate there. Next one is an epic and it is a uh, Malkith Bloodflock. I don't actually have him apparently on my account or maybe I, I, thought I, I thought I had a copy of him, but I've never actually used him on my account. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll use him now. We'll see. Depends if I actually need him for like the Curse City or something like that. Odachi, three star, probably not going to be used, but I, I think I, I remember I uh, thought about using him for Faction Wars, but that crypt ended up being relatively easy and I did not actually need to do that. Frostbringer, the champion who has frost in her name but doesn't actually freeze anything at all. Five star soul. Pretty darn useless. But maybe, I don't know, maybe for. I, I think I've seen her used for like Amias because she does have hero reduction in her kit, but I haven't needed her for that purpose. Three star Draconis, not what we're looking for. Can we end it on a high note? Another legendary. Yes, you love to see it. Five star Fortis. I'm honestly one of probably the few 10 people in the game that's actually kind of a fan of Fortis. I'd like to use him for like Doom Tower waves just because he kind of scales up damage over time. So by the time you get to wave three, he should be absolutely clapping things. But uh, don't have him. So that shall remain a fantasy because, as I like to say, void legendaries do not exist until they appear on your account. So two more immortals to go. Apothecary, three star. I believe he's already higher than that, but we'll check and see if that is an upgrade. Most likely not. And the last immortal for the session, three star Captain Tamila. Don't even plan to use her. And if I did have copies, I, actually, I guess I do have copies of her, but I'd probably just feed her into, I think Dark Kale is her... Uh, uh, upgrading champion but yeah here we go the big kahuna's 50 50 shot to get a six star perfect soul instead of a five star so let's see what we can get here the first eternal I haven't pulled one of these in many 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 months and we'll find out together if it was worth it six star scabrius i did build him back in the day for faction wars but he's been ungeared for a long time but six star crushing rend maybe might be useful curse city we'll kind of see that is a pretty strong soul i will admit we'll uh, definitely put that on him just in case we happen to need him another epic Ooh, Flesh Terror, one of the worst skinwalkers in the game, unfortunate, and it's five star. Last shot here for something super duper amazing. Legendary, that's a good sign. Wish Ooh, six star Georgia the Breaker. That would be amazing if I had Georgia the Breaker, <laughs> which I do not have, but I think I currently have like a three star soul for him, so I guess I can get rid of that one. But yeah, honestly, can't really complain. The six star soul for Inquisitor Shemail is pretty massive. That's a lot of extra damage for Hydra, a lot of extra survivability, and that is primarily where he does get used. Let me just double check my math really quickly here in the summoner or the soul stone rush. Yep, perfect. We got ourselves leg two legendary tomes, a barrel, five star chicken, chaos or primal shard, a glyph, void shard, epic tome, six star or epic chaos or ancient shard, chicken, chicken, a bunch of gems and some energy and some silver. Sweet. Fantastic. So honestly, that's pretty good. All in all, we didn't hit much from the wish list. Let's go ahead and awaken some champions. Yeah, Stagnite. Oh, it's from two star to five stars. That's pretty substantial. We'll take that. That's pretty good. That's not the end of the world for sure. We'll take that. Pretty decent upgrade. Scabrius goes all the way up to six star. Again, he's not built on my account, but maybe this will make me build him because now he might actually be able to lay a lot more smack down just being a Six Star Awakened. Cold Heart number one is probably the one most deserving of the rank up here. So a little bit more crit damage for her. We'll take it. Still waiting for like a five or six star for uh, for Cold Hearts. I, I've seen it on a lot of people's accounts and I just, for some reason, just haven't really managed to get one for myself. But okay, mini upgrade for Apothecary. Two star to three star. We'll take it. I think he has uh, Miracle Heal or something like that. I forget exactly which blessing is on him. 
But yeah, I guess that is it. So yeah, that is going to do it for our Soulstone summoning session. So we managed to get a decent amount of stuff. Six-star Inquisitor Shermail is definitely the highlight for the day. I guess the five-star Calamitous would be nice if I happen to ever get him. Upgrade to my Mesomel Soul, so I guess I can get rid of that one. And Georgid, if I do ever get him, he can be six-star awakened up from the two-star. So let's just get rid of those. Bank some more coins. But yeah, I mean, you know, it didn't get much else from the wish list. Who did we hit? We just hit Shemail and we hit Coldheart. But I, yeah, I really do wish that I hit like Whisper. Six star would have been probably better just because she's super, super fun to use. Would have loved to have gotten like a five star Herndig or Ninja or Tomb Lord, any of the three that would have been nice to hit. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys were also participating in this super boosted rate Soul Rush. And of course, let me know who you got. And as an added bonus for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, let me know one thing you're thankful for for the year of 2024 can be in life can be pretending to raid whatever you feel comfortable sharing as always if you did enjoy the video then be sure to hit that like button down below it really does help out the channel and also feel free to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the content on this channel thanks for watching and have a good one